Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick video to talk about uh, the first 24 hours of rollout of what is the May 2020 update. So, of course, yesterday, a new version of Windows 10 was released to um, general availability. That is interesting because I've been looking at the blog posts and also the bug reports. So what comes out of all of this uh, for those of you that are moving on to this version so uh, you should be if you uh, want to know if you are at the May 2020 update you should be at version 2004 bill 19041.264 which this is where we are at right now um, what comes out of what I'm observing for the 24 hours now that it's been actually available or almost 24 hours is that first of all a there's a big big part of you out there that don't see it so this is um interesting but i think it also is a calculated way of microsoft of testing the release so there's a lot of you out there that are not seeing this update a lot of you out there um and i see it here in the comments a lot of people are saying well i don't see it but it it's okay you know what don't worry about it you'll have it at some point and there are quite a few stopping showstoppers in the, in the bugs that are reported and uh, one of them being the uh, Bluetooth if you are using Bluetooth devices um, there is a major bug I mean if you have more than one Bluetooth device apparently there's some connectivity issues for some that means if you're using a Bluetooth mouse Bluetooth keyboard together for example you could have issues. Um, this is weird. Honestly, I, I can't understand that that bug, which was not reported, by the way, on the insider rings, is now existing and pops up suddenly. This is weird. I, I don't get it. Um, the So anyways, if you have uh, you know, more than one Bluetooth device connected, if you have an old NVIDIA card, if you have, there are certain hardware, certain um, software that might stop this from actually being available for you. Don't worry. Um, you know, eventually it's going to be there. Um, it's rolling out slowly. In the people that have updated to this new version of Windows 10, and of course, uh, like I say, the best way to do so is to go into your settings and go into update and security in here you'll you know check for updates and if it is available it's going to show up here it's an optional update so once once it shows here if you don't click download and and, and um an update it's not going to be there uh it's really just um an optional update that will show up it's going to tell you that you can get it if you want but you don't have to get it. You could just leave it there. It's okay. So uh, it's not forced on you. Now, um, a question that um, arose that is uh, of interest is uh, a couple of you have said that you've moved on to 1903, which is the May 2019 update. And you're wondering if you check updates, if it's going to give you the May 2020 update. Or if it's going to show you that cumulative update for the November 2019 update. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think I think both should so, would, would show up, honestly. I think it's going to give you two optional updates. It's going to tell you that the cumulative update for November is there. And it's probably going to tell you that maybe uh, you have the you know May 2020 update. Uh, one thing for sure is if you check, uh, like I said, as long as you don't click download and install, it won't install automatically. It's just going to show you that it's available if it's there. And chances are you're probably going to get the cumulative update because it probably will not even show the May 2020 update yet. For the rollout, uh, for what I see, of course, there's the, there's the um, small number of people having issues. Um, now, this is, is something that I, I just want to, to uh, express here. 
a lot of the people that are having problems are have forced it through the uh, media creation tool. Remember, I always say it's better to wait because if you force it, you are, of course, having a higher chance of getting problems than if you wait for it to actually uh, get to your machine by itself. So if you take out those people that forced it and have issues, the people that have updated naturally through the um, Windows Update phase, simply, um, most people report that it's actually very smooth and running really well. So, which, uh, you know, I, I really hope it, it, it is because, I mean, being tested for so long, uh, come on, you can't, you, it's impossible. If this would be a failure, I think this would show that Microsoft has a really, really deep problem that needs to be fixed uh, before they could issue any other updates in the future. But um, from what I see is that uh, people through Windows Update are having a good experience uh, in the update process and that it works well once it's installed. A lot of the people that I see with problems have forced it. And that is a risk, of course. So if you have questions, any questions about all of this, um, you can put the questions in the description below and the, um, the comments below the video. I will look at the comments through the day today, and of course, if uh, is need it is needed, I'll do a questions and answer uh, session for Windows 10 um, version 2004 or May 2020 update. So just ask your questions. Please be polite. I will not accept any bad language or any disrespectful comments. Uh, it's very important. There are ways to ask questions or... You know, there are even ways to um, vent your frustration in a polite way. And that's very important because your comment won't, won't even make it to the channel if you're, uh, if, if you're not okay. And by the way, there's a lot of people saying, well, you know, my comments are not, never making it. Yeah, because you're using the F word and you're always using bad language and you're always frustrated in a way that you're uh, hurtful rather than being uh, constructive. Uh, your comments are not going through, that's for sure. You're wasting your time if you're sending a one kilometer comment about something in a bad way. So, you know, better not leave comments if you are to use the F word and so on. And uh, for the size of the Windows download, by the way, because a lot of people are saying, well, it's 4.9 gigabytes. No, that's um, the, ov the overall um, check and, and, and different things that happen with it. Push it towards 4.9 five gigabytes in through the windows updates and stuff like that but if you look at the um if you download the image from the the media creation tool it's smaller than that because it actually fits on the dvd so um if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and we'll continue making videos today and i'll uh, post a very quick review that will kind of summarize everything of the may 2020 update a little later today